What's going on guys, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro in the orange label black white gum colorway. Today's video is sponsored by Rejuvenator. So Rejuvenator is a proven leader in shoe care innovation, delivering the most extensive and effective shoe care products on the market. So I personally have used their products when I clean my shoes and that's how I keep all the shoes I wear looking crispy clean. So be sure to check out their social media along with their website, which I'll add a link down below, giving you guys exclusive pricing for my viewers only. So for all of you guys in need of sneaker care products, be sure to check out Rejuvenator. So jumping back into these shoes, these drop in the beginning of March for a very reasonable $90 USD. The official colorway for this shoe is black, white, and gum light brown. So alongside this dunk low, Nike also dropped a wide array of silhouettes in this orange label pack. This entire collection, which was meant to be sold only in skateboard shops, brings the SB line back to its roots. So taking a quick look at the box first, so these come in this no frills brown cardboard box. At the very top we have this orange square with the Nike SB logo, and then we see that orange square once again on this back end, as well as on the front. And then as for the shoe box label, it reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro ISO, and I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I think ISO stands for in store only, which makes sense given the way that this shoe was released. Inside the box we have this orange paper, and then alongside this, they also give you this canvas bag which has those orange Nike SB squares found on either side. So jumping back into the shoe itself, so the majority of this SB Dunk Glow is constructed using this very buttery black nubuck. I gotta be honest with you guys, the quality of this nubuck actually feels very very good and I think that was Nike's intention giving this collection more of an elevated feel. On the mid panel of both the lateral side and the medial side, we have this Nike swoosh that's constructed out of this very tumbled white leather. As we take a look at the very back of the shoe, we have the Nike word mark embroidered in white. And then in terms of laces, these come with black oval laces, which have these orange lace tips at the edge. In addition to the black laces, they also give you a secondary pair of white laces if you want to give this shoe a little bit more pop and contrast. Underneath the laces, we have your signature puffy SB Dunk tongue. But one of the unique changes that they've done is at the very top of the tongue, instead of your normal SB tag, in this case, the Nike SB logo is rotated 45 degrees. The interior of these dunks is lined in this black textile, and then around the back Achilles area, there's a little bit more padding and support. As I pull up the insole, so the entire insole is blacked out, however, there's that orange Nike SB square found stitched on the heel. As I flip this over to the bottom, so of course this would not be an SB dunk if it didn't have the Nike Zoom Air in the heel. So the upper of these SB dunks sits atop this very clean looking white midsole. As I flip this over to the bottom, so here we have this gum outsole, which has a circular traction pattern along the forefoot, along with the exposed foam in the middle with the Nike SB branding. So in terms of sizing, so my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and historically for older SBs, I've always gotten 10 and a half in my SB Dunk Lows. Especially because of the puffy tongue, I felt like SB Dunk Lows ran a little bit more on the snug side, so because of that, I went up to the 10 and a half. However, for these guys, I got these in a size 10. I don't know if it's the materials used in the upper or just a thinner tongue maybe, but overall, true to size was good. And if you're kind of in between sizes, I would definitely recommend going down to the lower size. Next up, from a comfort standpoint, these pretty much feel identical to all my recent SB Dunk Low pickups. So while these are decently comfortable, they still don't match the level of comfort I found on my older pairs from like 2006, 7, and 8. All in all though, they are okay, you can feel the zoom air underneath the heel, and the Nubuck upper broke in pretty quickly, only after about 30 minutes of wear. So with all that said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. With Nike SB having a bit of a resurgence in recent months, I'm glad to see Nike going back to its roots and giving true SB fans something with elevated quality and a bit more of a simplistic and wearable palette. 
These probably aren't gonna break any necks, but if you want something reliable and something easily wearable, then these guys should do the trick. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this orange label SB Dunk Low. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. Before we end this video, one final thank you goes out to Reshuvenator, so once again, be sure to check them out down in the link below. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.